Aloha and Mele Kalikimaka. The Hawaiian language didn't need a word for Christmas until Europeans landed in the Hawaiian Islands. So Hawaiians borrowed the English phrase Merry Christmas into their native language of Hawaiian in the form of Mele Kalikimaka. But how did Merry Christmas turn into Mele Kalikimaka? Well, the Hawaiian alphabet is tiny, with a mere 13 letters. So the English phrase had to be adapted to fit the constraints of Hawaiian phonology. So let's take a look at how Merry Christmas becomes Mele Kalikimaka. Hawaiian has a transparent spelling system, which means that Hawaiian spelling directly reflects the sounds of the oral language. It has one symbol for one sound. Notice that the English word Christmas has a silent T. English does not have a transparent spelling system. In English, the only function of the silent T in Christmas is to help us see the relationship between the word Christmas and its base word, Christ. But Hawaiian spelling does not permit silent letters, so the T is discarded like a regifted fruitcake from the Hawaiian translation of Christmas. Both Hawaiian and English have the k sound, which in English can be spelled in several ways. But in Hawaiian spelling, the k sound is always spelled with a K. When it comes to the final sound in a syllable, Hawaiian puts vowels on the nice list and consonants on the naughty list. So a vowel must be added after the S in Chris and after the S in Mas, which adds more syllables, but ensures that every syllable ends in a vowel. When it comes to the beginning of a syllable, Hawaiian puts consecutive consonants on the naughty list. So to get on the nice list, a vowel must be inserted between the K and R in Christmas. Hawaiian phonology makes no distinction between an O sound and an ER sound, and the Hawaiian alphabet has no R. So to avoid getting coal in their stockings, the R's in Merry Christmas must be replaced with L's. The Hawaiian alphabet does not contain an S, so S's are replaced with K's. The Hawaiian alphabet does not contain a Y, so the Y is replaced with an E. So there you have it. While the thing to say on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day may appear to only have a slight resemblance to Merry Christmas, Meli Kalikimaka and Merry Christmas are actually the same phrase, with every difference explained by constraints of Hawaiian phonology and phonotactics. If you enjoyed this video, then you will love my video, Why is the Hawaiian Alphabet Tiny? Mele kalikimaka to all of you from the land where palm trees sway. Until next time, aloha! I'm Andy the Palm Springs Linguist. If you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button down below. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. Please leave a comment down below, like and share the video, and you can choose from any of these great videos to see next. See you in the next one.